Today I'm showing you how you can get a rest of us client from Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.4. Here we are on their official website. You want to head to aristowis.net, which is going to be linked down in the description, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here we are, and right up top over here, you're going to find the download button, which is this one right there. And then you want to click on that through here. Then down, click on this gray download button right over there and as you can see the download has automatically started. So now as you can see in my downloads we have the Aristos file which I just downloaded and you actually want to double click on that just like so and that's going to open up the installer. Now if that doesn't work you want to make sure that you have a program called Java installed. Don't confuse this with Minecraft Java Edition but the program known as Java made by Oracle. If you don't have that or you're unsure then I will link it in the description below. Anyways if you still double click on it and it doesn't work what you want to do is right click go to open with and then select the Java platform which is the one that if you didn't have it you should have just downloaded it. Anyways, once you've done that, it should definitely work. And here we are in the installer. So we can click on continue, and then you can select your Minecraft version, which in this case is 1.20.4. Then you want to just click on next and install. So as you can see, the installation is complete, and we can close this up right here. Now once we open up the launcher, it's actually we're actually going to be able to find the Aristobus game version right there. Anyways, the file in our downloads was the setup installer, which means we don't need it anymore now. So if you want to, you can delete it. Anyways, here in the Minecraft launcher, as you can see, we now automatically have 1.20.4 Aristos selected. Perfect. So now what we only need to do is just click on play, and we do need to understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft. So here we are, now Minecraft 1.20.4 Aristobus has opened up, and the first time opening it up, you'll see a couple of things. So first off, a quick basic how to use guide, and I will actually explain that a little more later as well. Anyways, and then of course some advertising, because, you know, who can blame them, right? Anyways, we can click on continue over here, continue once again, and now we are on the main page. Here, I'm just going to head into a single player world, and I'll briefly show you how to use it. So as you can see, I've loaded into a random world here, and now I'll quickly show you how to use it. So to open up the main menu, you want to press on the right hand shift button, and that is going to open up this right here. Here you will see lists of all the utilities that this client has. Now do make sure that you can actually, you know, well, do realize that you can actually scroll in most of these um, just to prevent you from missing things. Here in the search bar you can search um, for specific things as you can see and basically to enable them you can click on them and they will turn this kind of a greenish color and to disable them you can click on them again. Now as you can see a bunch of these are going to be automatically enabled which as you can also see is going to lead to quite the clutter on my screen. And now you can actually disable these as well. You can do that by opening up this menu over here and then basically disabling all of these things. And now once I've disabled all of those, as you guys can see, these are all gone. Alright, so here in the menu, most of these should be pretty self-explanatory, and you can hover above specific ones, and that'll actually allow you to get a brief description. You can actually also right-click on each specific utility, and you can choose to pin it or not, and or set a keybind. Now, depending on the hack or utility, there might actually also be specific um, other things that you can choose to do. For example, for this bow assist, you can choose your lock angle, drop distance, and your minimum angle, as well as persistence and your smoothness. Anyways, basically for each of these, that is going to be unique, and you'll just have to, you know, experiment a little bit with the client to have that all figured out. Anyways, basically, that is how to get started using Aristos Client. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave those down in the description. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, 
Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.